of the COVID-19 symptoms. We will discuss what are the common symptoms of COVID-19 and what is the science behind these symptoms. In this video, we will understand why our body is showing these symptoms during the COVID-19 infection. Before we discuss the topic, I have a small request to make. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel and show your support. Your subscription makes a huge difference and motivates me to provide cost-free education to everyone around the world. If you like the video, please do not forget to hit the like button. In this video, I will educate you on the signs of the symptoms of COVID-19 infection. However, if you observe any indication of sickness, then please closely look for the warning signs for COVID-19 symptoms and seek emergency medical care immediately. I repeat, seek emergency medical care immediately. Coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 that is SARS-CoV-2. COVID-19 affects different people in different ways. Infected people have had a wide range of symptoms reported from mild symptoms to severe illness. Symptoms may appear 2 to 14 days after exposure to the virus. People with these symptoms may have COVID-19. These symptoms may include fever or chills, cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, fatigue, muscle or body ache, headache, new loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion or runny nose, nausea or vomiting, diarrhea, persistent pain or pressure in the chest, inability to wake or stay awake, and bluish lips or face. Let's discuss these symptoms in detail. Fever is defined as having a temperature above the normal range due to an increase in the body's temperature set point. A fever can be caused by many medical conditions ranging from non-serious to life-threatening. This includes viral, bacterial and parasitic infections such as influenza, the common cold, meningitis, urinary tract infection, appendicitis, COVID-19 and malaria. If the body's temperature is increasing, this could be a warning sign and you should carefully look for other signs of COVID-19 disease. A cough is a sudden expulsion of air through the breathing passage that can help clear the fluids, irritants, foreign particles and microbes. Frequent coughing usually indicates the presence of a disease. Many viruses and bacteria benefit from a evolutionary perspective by causing the host to cough, which helps to spread this disease to new hosts. Many of the time, irregular coughing is caused by a respiratory tract infection. A cough can be the result of a respiratory tract infection such as common cold, COVID-19, acute bronchitis, pneumonia, pertussis or tuberculosis. Shortness of breath, SOB, also known as dyspnea, is a feeling of not being able to breathe well enough. The American Thoracic Society defines it as a subjective experience of breathing discomfort that consists of qualitatively distinct sensation that vary in intensity. This is an important sign of COVID-19 symptom since this virus attacks the respiratory tract, hence it causes SOB symptoms. Fatigue is a feeling of tiredness. It may be sudden or gradual in onset. It is a normal phenomenon if it follows prolonged physical or mental activity and resolves completely with the rest. However, it may be a symptom of a medical condition if it is prolonged, severe and progressive. Therefore, if you are feeling fatigue without doing any physical or mental work, that might be a sign of an infection. Myalgia, also known as muscle pain or muscle ache, is a symptom that present with a large area of diseases. While the most common cause is the overuse of a muscle or group of muscles, acute myalgia may also be due to a viral infection. Headache is the symptom of pain in the face, head or neck. Headaches can 
occur as a result of many conditions. A headache is one of the most commonly experienced of all physical discomforts. The brain itself is not sensitive to pain because it lacks pain receptors. However, several areas of head and neck do have pain receptors and can thus sense pain. The main causes of taste discomforts are infections of upper respiratory tract, head trauma or exposure to toxic substances. UGA is the loss of taste functions of the tongue, particularly the ability to detect taste. Anosmia, also known as smell blindness, is the loss of the ability to detect one or more smells. Anosmia can be due to a number of factors, including an inflammation of the nasal mucosa blockage of nasal passages or a destruction of one of the temporal lobe. Respiratory tract infections including COVID-19 target the function of these receptors and hence we lose the sense of taste or smell. This is an important sign of COVID-19 or other respiratory tract infections. Sore throat also known as throat pain is pain or irritation of the throat. It is usually caused by pharyngitis that is inflammation of the throat, tonsillitis that is inflammation of the tonsils or dehydration which leads to the throat drying up. The most common cause is acute viral pharyngitis, a viral infection of the throat. Other causes may include infections such as streptococcal pharyngitis, acid reflux disease which can cause stomach acid to back up to the throat and also cause the throat to become sore. Nasal congestion is the blockage of nasal breathing usually due to membranes lining the nose becoming swollen from inflamed blood vessels. In about 85% of cases, nasal congestion leads to mouth breathing rather than nasal breathing. In addition to nasal congestion, the COVID-19 patients may also experience rhinorrhea. It is a condition where the nasal cavity is filled with a significant amount of mucus fluid, the condition commonly known as runny nose. Runny nose is a common symptom of allergies such as hay fever or sudden viral infections such as common cold. Nausea or vomiting is a diffuse sensation of unease and discomfort, often perceived as an urge to vomit. Nausea is a non-specific symptom which means that it has many possible causes. Gastrointestinal infections and food poisoning are the two most common causes of acute nausea and vomiting. However, COVID-19 patients may also show these symptoms. Diarrhea is the condition of having at least three loose liquid or watery bowel movements each day. It often lasts for a few days and can result in dehydration due to fluid loss. The most common cause is an infection of the intestine due to either a virus, bacteria or a parasite. However, abdominal pain, diarrhea, appetite loss may also be the symptoms of COVID-19 disease. This virus attacks the lung cells, therefore chest pain or pressure in chest may be an important sign of this deadly virus. This also considered as emergency warning sign of COVID-19. Inability to wake and stay awake is an important symptom of the disease. However, the mechanism is unknown, but this could be an important symptom along with the other symptoms of COVID-19 disease. Cyanosis is the blue coloration of the skin or mucous membranes due to the tissues near the skin surface having low oxygen saturation. The change in color is due to excessive concentration of oxyhemoglobin in the blood caused by deoxygenation. If you observe any indication of sickness, then please closely look for the warning signs of COVID-19 disease and seek emergency medical care immediately. I repeat, seek emergency medical care immediately. Older adults and people who have severe underlying medical conditions such as heart or lung disease or diabetes.